Hi everyone. Welcome to A Message of Hope. This is Pastor Mark bringing you another miracle from Jesus. This is the 27th miracle. This is a very exciting one. It is covered by all four Gospels. Um, I'll be reading from Matthew 26, uh, 47 through 56, Mark 14, 43 through 52, Luke 22, 47 through 54, and John 18, 1 through 11. I feel that uh, John writes the most out of all these, and uh, I'll be reading out of the book called One, which takes the four Gospels, puts them together, and lets us know um, everything that happens during this miracle. So let's just step into it as we go. Okay. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was an olive grove, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas had betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the grove, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches and lanterns and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was about to happen, went out and asked them, Who is it that you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus replied. And Judas the traitor was standing right there with them. When Jesus had said, I am he, they all drew back and fell to the ground. It's a miracle in itself. Again, he asked them, who is it that you want? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. And he said, I told you that I am he. Jesus answered, if you're looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken would be fulfilled in prophecy. I have not lost one of these that you gave me. Now the betrayer, Judas, had arranged a signal with them, the one I kiss is the man, arrest him and lead him under guard. He approached Jesus to kiss him, and Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? That's from Luke. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him, writes Matthew. Jesus replied, Friend, do what you came for. And then the men stepped forward and seized Jesus and arrested him. Luke writes, when Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with swords? John writes, Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew the sword and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Luke writes, But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and he healed him. Picked it up and healed him. John writes, Jesus commanded Peter, Put your sword away. Shall I not drink the cup the, the Father has given me? For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he'll at once put at disposal more than 12 legions of angels? But how would then the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen? Then Jesus said to the chief priests and the officers and the temple guard and elders, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat with you in the temple courts teaching and you didn't lay a hand on me or arrest me. But this all took place that the scripture writings of the prophets might be fulfilled, that this is the hour when darkness reigns. Then all the disciples deserted and fled. Then, seizing Jesus, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest Peter followed from a distance. And a young man, wearing nothing but linen garment, was following Jesus. It was probably Mark. When they seized him, he fled away naked, leaving his garment behind. This is amazing that Luke, the doctor, writes that the ear was put back on. They write that, John writes that the ear was cut off, but Luke is the only one that writes that it was put back on. From a doctor's point of view, usually such a wound would require stitches and nerves and muscles and things like that, but Jesus put that right back on him and healed him. Know that Jesus can do the impossible. Know that we should stay calm during times of troubles. Know that we don't need a sword other than the word of God to protect us and guide us. God bless you. This is Pastor Mark saying, see you soon.